Let's go to YouTube. It's Aquarius, uh, Leviathan, Prophecy, and uh, uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, The Undertaker's WrestleMania winning streak. Uh, obviously, uh, he only suffered two losses. As you can see, I wrote down, uh, you know, the whole list. I wrote down like a whole bunch of people that he faced and the streak, the record. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, the first, the fir not the first, but it's not in, it's not in, um, it's not in no order. Uh, you know, it's just random. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, I separated the wins from the losses. So, obviously, he only suffered two losses. And he went 20, you know, 3 and 0. He went 23. Uh, so, um, yeah. So, uh, the first one was, uh, not the first, but yeah, I understand. Uh, the one on the list is Randy Orton. See a bunk, Edge, Mark Henry, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Batista, Shane McMahon, or Shane O'Mac, Jake the Snake, K Kong Bundy, The Giant Gonzalez, Ric Flair, The Big Show and A Train, Kane, Psycho Sid, Big Diesel, Big Bossman, Bray Witt, John Cena, Triple H, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Kane and Jimmy Fly Snicker. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Right? Twenty four. Uh, let me let me recount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty. Okay, I miscounted. Okay, so he went twenty three, and the only obviously the only two uh, opponents that he lost to was Roman Reigns. And Brock Lesnar. So, uh, what I'm gonna do is, um, him facing Triple H three times. Uh, Cause I remember the first one. I I believe it was WrestleMania 17, if I'm not mistaken. He true. He faced Triple H, and obviously he faced Triple H three times. So Triple H got his ass cooked. <laughs> Triple H got his ass kicked. Twice, three times. Uh, his face came twice. Obviously, the mask came, and you know the, you know, crazy came. Um, Psycho Sid. So this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, for every match I thought that he was going to win, or for every match I thought that he was going to lose, I'm just going to put an X. The matches that I thought he was going to lose, no, the matches that I thought he was going to win, I'm going to put an X. The matches I think he was going to win, I'm going to put a, you know, circle. So here we go. Um, obviously, starting from the top, Randy Orton, he was going to, hold on, let me, when uh, zero lose is an X. Okay, so uh, he was gonna win. A, he was he was gonna win against Randy Orton, uh, even though you know his father came and you know messed up the whole thing. He still won. CM Punk. He was gonna win. You know, obviously this is when uh, Paul Beard passed away. Uh, rest in peace, Paul Bear. But uh, you know he was gonna win. Uh, there was the WWE was not gonna push CM Punk to beat the streak. Uh, Edge win 
Mark Henry, casket match win, Triple H. The first time, uh, he was going to win that one. Shawn Michaels, the first one, he was going to win that one. Batista, um, he was going to win that one. Shane O'Mac, definitely a zero. A Jake the Snake win, King Kong Bunny win, Greg Gonzalez won that in a disqualification match. When Ric Flair win, A Train Big Show win, Kane. I'm not gonna lie, Mask Kane had the only. I don't. I think out of all these superstars, Mask Kane, I thought I I felt, you know, had the 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 tools to win. So I'm gonna say. I'm just going to say lose. I'm going to put an X on Kane. Because I thought, again, I, I think that Kane, when he was had the mask on, I thought he was just that dominant and that superior. You know what I'm saying? Like, it took not one, but two tombstones to take him out. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these, re like, Batista took a power driver. Shane O'Mac, you know, obviously took a power driver. Randy, Punk, Edge, Mark Henry. I'm not going to count Mark Henry because that was a casket match. Uh, Triple H, Power Driver, Tombstone. Uh, Sean, Tombstone. Shano, I mean, Jake the Snake, Tombstone. King Kong Bundy, Tombstone. I'm not going to count Gonzalez because that was a disqualification match. Uh, Ric Flair, Tombstone. Uh... Big Show, obviously, and A-Train, that became a handicap match. And obviously, you know, it became a tag team match because they, you know, ambushed, you know, Undertaker's partner from behind. So, he had to start without him. Um, and then, yeah, so, so far, The Undertaker went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I think The Undertaker would have went 13 and 1 with Kane's loss. And obviously he would have still kept on going. So Psycho Sid, that's a W. Big Diesel, that's a W. Big Bossman, W. Bray Wyatt, W. John Cena, W. Triple H, W. I mean, Triple H, I mean, Psycho Sid Circle. Uh, big, uh, big Diesel circle, Big Bossman circle, Bray Wyatt circle, uh, John Cena obviously circle. That was more of a respect, you know, regain type of match. Uh, um, I mean, John Cena was not even trying. Uh, Triple H circle, Triple H again circle, Shawn Michaels again circle, Kane the second time circle, Jimmy circle, Brock. Circle and no, no, you know what? Again, I could see him losing to Brock Lesnar because they had just they just had so much chemistry back in the Ruthless Regression era, you know. Um, you know, they would go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and this is when Brock Lesnar was in his prime. Uh, so you know. I mean, not this Brock Lesnar, but the Brock Lesnar of the, you know, Ruthless, Ruthless Aggression Era. He was just like, what, 23, 24, 23 years old? So, uh, I think that Brock Lesnar just had too much back and forth going on against The Undertaker. You know, obviously, they fought in steel cage matches. They fought for the WWE champion. Uh, you know, they just had good chemistry in the ring together. So, I could understand why... The Undertaker chose Brock Lesnar to 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 end the streak, uh, and then obviously Roman Reigns. No, uh, so in my theory, in my theory, the Undertaker would have went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, so The Undertaker would have went 24 and 2. 
supposed to 23 and 2. That's just my opinion. Y'all can let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, what was your favorite WrestleMania moment of The Undertaker? Uh, do you think The Undertaker should have gone a perfect 20? What was it? 20? What was it? 24, I believe. Yeah, either either way, I mean. I mean, did you think The Undertaker should have gone perfect in WrestleMania? Uh, did, you, did you think, do you think he should have lost a couple of matches here and there? Or he could have just lost one match and just been, you know, one shy of being perfect? Uh, again, you know, I mean, I, I, in my opinion, I thought that he should have lost twice, which he did. Uh... But obviously, the, the two people that he lost to, one was an up-and-coming superstar out of Roman Reigns, and then the other one was hand-picked by him uh, to, to end the streak. Because I remember in the interview, he said that, you know, if I would have picked somebody to end the streak with, you know, um, I would have picked Brock Lesnar, you know, because he said, Kurt Angle, we didn't really have that much chemistry together, The Rock... You know, we didn't have that much chemistry. I mean, we had a lot of chemistry together, but it just wasn't, you know, it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Chris Jericho, you know, we had a lot of... We didn't really necessarily have a lot of chemistry together. So he was just basing on... He was just saying why he never faced elite opponents at WrestleMania. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just like the Super Bowl, you faced the best of the best from the NFC and from the AFC. Same thing with the NBA Finals, you know. NBA Finals, you face the best of the West versus the East, you know. But in WrestleMania, you know, you would have like you would have to face the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he was talking about you know why he never faced you know elite competition in the uh, you know at WrestleMania because if you look at the list that I just had. You can make an argument that most of these dudes didn't really deserve to face the Undertaker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that, you know, him and Austin had too much of a good chemistry together. And the fans wouldn't really want Stone Cold to end the streak early. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I would have liked the Undertaker. I would have liked Stone Cold to at least try to beat the Undertaker at WrestleMania. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, he said that. You know, Vince McMahon didn't really want it that way. He didn't want, you know, the fans to, you know, dictate, you know, the, the outcome of the match. You know what I'm saying? Because we worked so well together, you know, pay-per-views after pay-per-views, live events after live events. We worked so hard and so well together that, you know, it would be a no-brainer to put Stone Cold and, and me in a WrestleMania match. You know what I'm saying? And he went on to, you know, mention, you know, uh, Kurt Angle, like how come you never faced Kurt Angle at WrestleMania, but Brock Lesnar obviously defeated Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. Um, let's see, The Rock, how come you never faced The Rock, you know what I'm saying? Like he was just mentioning notable, you know, candidates that, you know, he thought that, you know, would be a fair, would give him a fair chance in a good fairing in a good matchup, you know, but instead of, you know, uh, facing Randy Orton, CM Punk, Edge, Mark Henry, Triple H three times, Mark, Shawn Michaels twice, Batista, Shane O'Mag, Jake the Snake, King Kong Bundy, uh, the Giant Gonzalez, Ric Flair, Big Show and A-Train, Kane twice, Psycho Sid, Big Diesel, Big Boss Man, Bray Wyatt, John Cena, you know what I'm saying, uh, Jimmy Fly Snooker, you know, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, like, if you really don't, if you really look down the list, Undertaker should have been undefeated. He should have never lost any of these matches, which he didn't, but obviously, in the tail light of his career, obviously, you know, the mileage and, you know, all the hits and all that stuff, you know, catch up to him, but, um, you know, like I said, again, he shouldn't have, he, he should have gone perfect, 24-0, you know, um, 
or let me see, 20, he was what, 23? He was what, 23 and 2? So if you take away those two losses, he should have been 25 and 0, a perfect 25 and 0 at WrestleMania, never lost. You know what I'm saying? Well, obviously, this coming at WrestleMania would have been 26 because he would have faced, you know, AJ Styles. So uh, it would have made a perfect 26 and 0. So, um, you know, in my opinion, I, 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 you know, just like the Chicago Bulls, you know, Chicago Bulls went, you know, 6 and 0. Just like the NFL 49ers, they went, you know, obviously the, you know, not the team basically, but, you know, the, the player, you know, Michael Jordan, six rings, never forced a game seven. You know, Joe Montana with his four rings, never lost in the Super Bowl. You know, Floyd Mayweather, you know, 50 and no, never lost. So, uh, I mean, same thing you can say about Goldberg, you know, I don't think, I don't think Goldberg should have never lost his 172, 72 matches. He only lost once, and that was to in the interference to uh, to Scott Hall versus Diesel. You know, so, but like I said again, you know, records are meant to be broken, and um, you know, things don't last long. You know, um, you know, so when, you know, Mayweather finally defeats, get defeated, or whenever he gets defeated, or he may be, he probably may not even get defeated because he might probably retire, you know, to save his legacy. Like, who the fuck cares, you know? Did Ali care about him losing? I, I mean, obviously nobody likes to lose, but, you, you know, when you're 21, 22, you, when you're 21, 22 years old, and you're in your prime, and... You know, you're 21 and 0 and, you know, with 15 knockouts and 9 KOs, like, you know, like you're not really get, you're not really thinking about, you know, lose, losses right now. You just, you know, you just have a hot hand, you know what I'm saying? And I think for most people, like Mayweather, you know, I think he's just so caught up on his wins, like he's afraid to lose. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't like to lose, which nobody likes to lose. But, like I said again, you know, like, if you if you, if you you practice your craft so much, then, you know, someday you're going to slip up. And when you slip up, it's going to be over for you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that's why he hasn't been slipping up. That's why he has been. And the, and the, and the truth is about boxing is that, you know, you, you, you can pick and choose your matches. You know what I'm saying? It's not like the NBA or the NFL where, oh, I don't want to face him, so I, I so I can face that person. No, whoever you have in your schedule, whether it's weak or strong, it doesn't matter. Whoever you have on your schedule is who you have to defeat. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know that's a disadvantage advantage to boxers. You know what I'm saying? They can choose to fight whoever they 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 have different classes. You know so. Um, yeah, so like I said, again, uh, you know, I think The Undertaker should have gone to perfect 26-0. and 0. Um, but, uh, tell me what your favorite WrestleMania match of The Undertaker is, and, um, you know, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, um, I'm gonna put a, a video of 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 of, of um, the Undertaker's WrestleMania streak down in the description box down below, so y'all can check it out. Uh, you know, it's um, like you know, I mean, when he lost, I was shocked, you know, because I didn't really think he was gonna win. I mean, I didn't think he was gonna lose to Brock Lesnar, but you know, I mean. I mean, like I said, man, he handpicked Brock Lesnar because they had so much chemistry together. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't like he said that he said that he didn't want to feel that he didn't want to you know force it. You know what I'm saying? Like if the Stone Cold were to beat the Undertaker at WrestleMania, nobody would have give two shits because they had so much chemistry together. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't even notice. You know, but you know the Rock. Uh, you didn't, she didn't, I mean, they didn't really have that much chemistry together. I think The Rock and Triple H had so much chemistry together. 
because I think they both debuted in the same year, or probably a, a year apart. But The Undertaker and Stone Cold, they had too much good of a chemistry. So, uh, like I said again, like, share, subscribe. I mean, like, share, comment, subscribe. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.